When I was younger, my little brother drowned in a canal after he, uh, after I refused to let him hang out with me. I felt a lot of guilt for that. I carried that guilt around for me for a long, long time. It welled up inside of me, and I didn't, I didn't get close to nobody. I didn't let nobody know the true me. Uh, I held a lot of things in, kept a lot of secrets. I was an angry person. I didn't have a job, didn't have no job skills. I didn't know nothing but drugs. I started doing drugs when I was a teenager. So uh, I really had no life skills outside of prison and getting high or selling drugs. So when I found what happened is I eventually I found myself with nowhere to go, no one to turn to. So that's where my homelessness in Portland, Oregon started, sleeping on the streets, camping out in the Hollywood district, riding the max downtown, getting off, going upstairs, eating at the mission. So I woke up one morning on the, on the Burnside Bridge with the steel toe boots on, couldn't feel my toes in the middle of the January. Um, and I decided that I just couldn't do this no more. I needed to get off the streets. So I met with a staff member and uh, we had a conversation and uh, you know, he asked me about some of my concerns, what's going on in my life at the time. And I remember just telling him, man, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I don't want to drink. I don't want to use and I want off the streets. So he gave me a, a bed for the night and he came back and he interviewed me again and uh, welcomed me into the New Life Ministry. I remember pulling up to the harbor and it's just green lawns and there's a, you know, just there's a beautiful property, big old sign says a harbor, New Life Ministry. And uh, it wasn't what I expected at all, that's for sure. So some of the things I've learned since I've been in the program are that uh, I can be vulnerable. Through the program, I've learned how to do a, a, a self-discovery on the choices that I make uh, and see how my thought patterns and my behavior, you know, my thought patterns will affect my behaviors. I've learned a lot of tools on how to build a relationship in, with Christ. What he's enabled me to do is to love people right where they are. I, uh, I love my job. It gives me a chance to get personal and up close with people who are struggling to be that ear that they may need to hear, to be that hope. You know, a lot of guys ask me, hey, how long have you been at the program? You know, uh, how do I get into it? I've brought a lot of guys into the program here. So I get to be part of the ministry. And, and that is so rewarding to me to watch a guy come in with hope. I, I love people today, and that's not always been the case. I, I truly do believe that that's my calling. Jesus wants me to love everybody where they are. I think that's what we're supposed to do as Christians. That's my life today.